Transmitting to you from Old Heart Radio. Thundercats. Hey, so I was thinking. <laughs> what were you so thinking? I was thinking that when you edit this episode, you should st- the episode should start with like thirty to forty five seconds of a uh, uh, real American Hulk Hogan's theme song because we're always referencing that, and you just getting internet and us being able to like do this on a regular interval. It's like yeah. a reason to celebrate. Fair enough. Maybe I should. <laughs> Dude, that that I saw this clip. This is uh, this. I mean, it has to do with wrestling, but not Hulk Hogan, I guess. I saw this clip of like in uh, online, and it was like it was titled like Vince McMahon and his do rag era was crazy. Oh yeah, and it yeah. showed just a bunch of clips of Vince McMahon rocking like a variety of colored do rags to match his suit, walking around calling like John Cena the N word, like yeah, <laughs> like you know like crazy stuff. And then there's like this like clip of him like just, like walking down to like the mat, you know, like with this like swagger, and he just like. He like stanky legs almost like all the way down the fucking ramp. Like it's just crazy. I was just like, dude, Vince McMahon. Like he just like at this point, that point in his life, do rag Vince McMahon. It was just like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. (laughs) Like, (laughs) yeah, it's uh, really on. He's, uh, I don't know if you've been noticed, but uh, it's kind of in some. You know, sir, he survived some scandals, you know, he survived like the yeah. steroid trials. But right now there's all these different uh, news coming out that um, over the years, he's shelled out over $12 million in hush money to four different women oh, for like Jesus. sexual misconduct and shit like that. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, not a good, not a good, not a good look. That doesn't that like equally doesn't surprise me, but it's also like, Jesus, dude, you know, like. <laughs> Vince. I just, I, it'll always I'll never understand why some like a musician or someone like that that's in this just making a shitload of money like they find themselves in these stupid fucking situations like yeah yeah it's always so bizarre right it's like it's like uh, you can you have you have enough resources to just do whatever the fuck you want yeah. But for some reason, you still end up finding yourself doing like illegal shit. Like, Awful shit. Yeah. You know, uh, classic case R. Kelly. That dude just got, yeah. like, I can't remember what his jail sentence is, but he actually just got 30 sentenced. years. Yeah. Fucking cripes, dude. And 30 I mean, years in prison. but like, that's the thing, you know, like, like, uh, you know, it was like, it was pretty well known, it felt like, that he was like up to janky shit. And people were Absolutely. just like, people just like, to do. What are you talking about? It's R. Kelly, man. You got you talking about like one of the smoothest, smoothest motherfuckers out there. Like, no, dude, dude's rich yeah. and just pl- and just victimizing people. But yeah, Ch- Ch- Chappelle knew. You know what I mean? The, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to piss on you. Yes, I do. I want to pee on you. I want to piss on you. <laughs> Dude, what's the line? Won't you braid my hair? <laughs> <laughs> nobody, yes. nobody is a porta potty. <laughs> oh, it's a kick. I'll make you do karate. <laughs> oh my god, classic. A drip, drip, drip. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah, so. Yeah, he knew. You know. Yeah. I, I loved it, and then like the fo- the follow up sketch to that where he was just, like oh, yeah. he did the remix. He's like he's like no man like R Kelly R Kelly was mad at me about making a song about peeing on people. And I what's that what was that line he had? He's like he's like R Kelly calls me up and he's like man how could you make a, hey. a video about me pissing on people? <laughs> like, man, how are you gonna make a song about pissing on? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. That's right yeah. Oh my god, classic. So fucking good. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So you know, uh, to the matter at hand, <laughs> dude. 
So we brought forth a wonderful 1980 movie. Totally. This 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 definitely like uh, we're going to be talking about 1980s alligator. Obviously, if you've read the title, but I just want to say for my piece, like real quick, I really enjoyed this movie. It's, um, it's great. Yeah. I, and so we've definitely reviewed like far shittier movies, I think. Absolutely. Uh, but this one, it, like it's, it's campy for sure. At times there's like, you know, there's elements we'll talk about them, but like, it's also just like, I think it's a really fun movie. Like yeah, overall. It's, it's directed by, uh, Lewis T. He did, uh, Cat's Eye, uh, Cujo. Um, oh, yeah, so, yeah. and Cujo, oh, shit, you know, yeah. um, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, he's... Also, you know, there's, there's really not a lot of, um, actors or actresses that are really that, you know, that are, at least I notice, except for, uh, uh, Robert Forrester, who plays Detective David Madison, he's in like uh, he's in a bunch of random horror, like Maniac Cop Three, mm. Uncle Sam. He's in the Psycho remake, but he was also in uh, in uh, the Little Bow Wow basketball classic, like Mike. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> the oh, magical shoes. The shoes, man, dude. There's like three of those movies too. Like somehow their, sho- there? their shoes just kept kept enchanting people. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that's fucking funny. That is so random. Um, yeah, yeah. This movie, like, it's uh, overall, it's just it. It's just it's a cool creature movie, really. Like <laughs> totally, totally. You know, um, and one of the things I I, I like is like. You know, we talked about uh, arachnophobia on the last episode a bit. And, yeah. you know, that kind of idea of like, you know, actual animals or creatures, you know, being being the scary thing. And that's definitely the the nature behind alligator here where it's like, you know, I, I love the idea of playing off of, uh, you know, like a like a urban fucking, legend. Yeah, exactly. Of like alligators in the sewer, you know. Absolutely. Um, but you know where, where where we start out in this movie is really fucking great though, like because it just it just comes it comes right at you, like it opens up with this scene from like I, I don't know I can't remember where or if they even expressed where, but it's on like some sort of like gator farm, you know, yeah. where it's like classic guy like redneck dude like like wrestling a gator like come here everybody look at the look at Jim Bob over here he's about to he's about to you know poke this gator with a stick or whatever the fuck he's doing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but. Like, but like what's fucking crazy is and you just don't expect it right off the bat but like you just see this dude get like his whole fucking like he gets his shit rocked by this gator man like yeah because yeah because he gets like he he approaches you know and gets his leg like caught in between like the shore and a log and and uh just like back pedals into the water and yeah it's you know it's fucking gnarly it's It's definitely not where you want to be when there's a fucking alligator right no, there. No, uh, but what I love on, on top of all of that being like right up, right off the bat is, is the fact that like you also have in this scene, the really like sort of jammed in their moment where there's this like, I don't know, gator salesman. Who's like, I got gators here for you. Like if you want like baby, ba- little baby gators. And she's like showing this little girl, you know, the, the little like mm-hmm. baby alligator. <laughs> that what i I, love i don't don't know why you'd want to walk away with one or why you'd let your kid walk away with a fucking baby alligator what are you gonna do with that (laughs) it's a good point but the part that i loved is where the guy gets attacked and the mother of the little of uh you know is it obviously we learn later in the movie that the little girl that winds up with the alligator is marissa kendall she she uh, ends up to be a herpetologist, but anyway, I love the part where the guy's getting attacked, and her mom's like, "Oh, look at the fake blood," <laughs> and like thinking it's like a show that they're putting on. This guy's like getting savagely attacked. <laughs> know, dude, this, this dude's getting mauled. His fucking legs getting like ripped off. 
the, the mom's just impressed by the stage performance. Like, wow, these yeah. uh, these special effects are fucking killer, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's it's just it's such a chaotic like opening sequence, but it, it's yeah. just I don't know. I just it's like a really fun way to start the movie in a lot of in a lot of ways. Um, but then you kind of like you kind of pick back up. You follow like you sort of follow that family to mm-hmm. back to their house uh mm-hmm. and it's like i don't know presumably like the next day or maybe a couple days later or whatever where like yeah. the girl has the little girl has set up a little aquarium for, for her alligator but mm-hmm. her fucking old man like seems just a, like absolutely against it just yeah. you know he because he, 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 he apparently finds like uh droppings <laughs> by the like laundry room or something. Yeah, I forget. Yeah. That was it. He was like so upset because he kept finding the all- like alligator shit in the house or whatever. <laughs> what a weird Fuck. problem to fucking have. Ugh, I mean, I stepped in, I stepped in alligator shit again. Right as I got home from work. But Fuck like, this. <laughs> but it's like it's it's this little baby alligator. Like, how much could it actually produce? You know? Yeah. What I mean? It is, yeah, exactly. It's like it's it's turds like cannot be that much bigger than a fucking rat turd at this point. It it's right. like it and anyway. So it's just it's just such a funny reason for him to be so irate about the alligator. Like also, is this little girl just letting the alligator just roam about the house like uh, like a dog? You know, like, I guess presumably. <laughs> but, but yeah, I love how he's when he's like he like grabs it to take it up to the. Uh the toilet and the mom's like well what are we gonna tell her and he's like oh we'll tell her the same thing when her hamster died yeah (laughs) (laughs) the classic classic you know uh i went to the farm or whatever the fuck they're gonna go with let's flush it down the toilet yeah yeah that and that's what's crazy is that the dude just like you know just takes this little baby alligator and it could be like I be, that man's probably shit bigger shits than the size of that alligator, so it just flushes right down the toilet, and yeah. then you know, like and that's like you kind of have this cool sequence where you like follow the alligator down into the sewer through its you know yeah, journey yeah. almost, um, which is cool, yeah. and it I, I'm pretty sure they they used like a you know a real like like a little baby gator for some of these scenes and stuff. Cause oh, yeah. you know, they, there's definitely shots uh, of like live animals throughout this movie. Um, Absolutely. Which is cool. It's, it's really cool that they did that intermix with like other things. Um, but yeah, it's, it, and then it kind of picks up like just 12 years 12 later or years, something like that. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. 12 it, years later. Which is so funny. Like it's just like, all right, so that happened, and then, boom, uh, and 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 then you run right into like your main character, basically. Yeah, if I'm recalling yeah. correctly. Um, yep. Detective David Madison. <laughs> yeah, he's buying. I love how. Okay, so he's buying a dog, and it's oh, just yeah. wild to me. The uh, this uh, fifteen dollars to ninety cents for a dog. Like, That's it's wild to think that that one how cheap that was. you know what i mean yeah it's yeah i know i was so shocked by that i was like the dude gave him like a 20 and he got some change for that dog <laughs> you know but yeah while while he's buying the dog from uh gutchel's pet store he has a conversation <laughs> with the owner about how um there's apparently been some dog nappings uh lately um yeah so. well because he was like he like the way he describes it, he was like, I left my dog out while I ran in to get something and it came back and it was swiped. And yeah. so he like immediately just turns around and grabs it, buys a different dog. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, that's, that dude moves on quickly. Well, let's say, but yeah, it's like it. So, you know, you kind of, but you also kind of like in thinking about the context of the movie, you're like, are people kidnapping dogs or is something yeah. else happening? <laughs> yeah. We learned pretty quickly, you know? <laughs> yeah. Fair but, enough. Uh, but yeah, he gets a beep, um, goes to this, it's the first shot, like where he, he goes to the sewage plant and, uh, the sewage plant workers have found, um, basically a human arm that is washed up there. And uh, they also talk about finding a, uh, Lhasa Opso in the same sludge tank. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, and he all, so he goes from there. He gets a he gets a call. We intro, get introduced to the police chief, and they go and talk to a woman who uh, had reported um, her missing dog. And she she mentions how the dog looks exactly the same, but that it's way too big. You know, it's like yeah. six seven sizes bigger than what her dog was, and. Um, hmm. And we follow up with with uh, with Gutchel, um, and we see that he's the one that's yeah. been fucking uh, nabbing these dogs. And what's he doing with them? He's like fucking throwing them down the sewer or whatever. No, well, no, no. He's basically what he's doing is he's like he seems to be providing them to like a pharmaceutical absolutely uh, company where they're like experimenting on them, and they even comment in like an exchange. Like about how like some of the dogs aren't like the right size or age or whatever it is like, and so he they need puppies. different ones. Yeah. yeah, he needs explicitly puppies, puppies for his experiments. <laughs> yeah, uh, ah, ah, ah. yeah, dude, Gutzel's a piece of shit if you really think about it. Yeah, because uh, he, yeah, he's basically providing them with they're like testing some kind of like growth hormone, um, you know, and not only is he providing them with these specimens, but then he's also taking the remnants of the dead dogs and dumping them in the sewer. And this is where you're led to believe like how this gator got so big. It's been in the sewer. It's been feeding off of these dead dogs with growth hormone injected in them. But yeah, Gutchel's a piece of shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, it's just like a wild premise. Like, if you, <laughs> you know, totally just, I don't know. I just, I, I it's, it's one thing to just do like the alligator in the sewer thing, but they definitely have found a, a clever way of like making it an, an even greater threat. Um, I yeah. love this. I love the scene of him like Gutchel, like wheeling a shopping cart into the sewer and like <laughs> with like bags and bags of just dead puppies. And, and where he just like, you know, he just fucking like, you know, he's like walking around like looking to see if anybody sees him and he just fucking carts <laughs> right in there and you're just like jesus man like they're like literally he's just dropping them in mass like they're you know it's it's nuts yeah but yeah and one of he you know he drops one in but one of them he drops in doesn't fall into the water so he climbs down into the sewer and knocks it into the water but then notices that this tunnel or whatever that they that he's been dropping them in and they've been coming out of is blocked. So he goes in to unblock it and he gets his comeuppance. Dude. Let's just say. Dude. Motherfucker gets uh Yeah. <laughs> like and you know, I I you don't feel bad because you're just immediately you're just like this dude's an asshole. Not at so, all. Like stoked that he's getting the axe. But yeah, it's like uh I can't remember. Doesn't the gator like sneak up behind him or whatever? And like, yeah, because yes. it's like there's this, like kind of like some like shots of him, you know, like struggling, like you know, while there's like lanterns sort of flashing around. Uh, mm -hmm. And then you see like a like an arm or something like that, like floating in some water shortly thereafter. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. So like, do you got it? Yeah, we 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 follow back. You know, Madison's back at the sewage plant again, and they're talking about how it's they. Uh, these pieces came up and that they found kitty litter in the in this sock and then as he's talking to them he sees um, a piece of Gutchel's shirt getting fished out of the water too yeah um, they also he, make a yeah. mention of his footwear which I thought was really fucking funny and so they like they asked him like uh, like the detective asked you know the sewage guy like I don't know about the shoes or whatever he found. And this, the Hebrew, he goes, yeah, they're alligator, alligator, uh, with wing tip. <laughs> like, so they like Gutchels <laughs> presumably was wearing alligator skin shoes with like, got, yeah. You know? <laughs> I was by an alligator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like the, so, <laughs> so dumb. It's just so, such a dumb thing to put in there. Absolutely. Anyway, oh. <laughs> so Madison goes from there and heads to. Uh, we see him. He's at Slade Pharmaceutical now, and he's talking to a character who we don't learn his name until like pretty far into the movie. But the guy's name is Arthur. 
He seems to be the one running uh, these experiments. Mm. And Madison is basically uh, asking him questions. And uh, this gentleman, Arthur, is denying any involvement with Gutchell. He talks about how they either breed the dogs there or get them from the pound. Um, Madison goes on to, to ask if a mature dog can double its size in a two month period. And, uh, and if they could wind up in the sewer system and Arthur again denies and just and says, there's no way. Yeah. Just covering them tracks. It's well, you know, and, uh, you know, he, there's kind of like a scene shortly thereafter where like he has like an interaction uh, Arthur has like an interaction with like I don't know the per like the, the head of the Slade. company Slade. Yes, yeah. of course his name's Slade. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and where he's basically like, you know, being uh, told that he's doing a good job keeping it hushed. You know, like mm-hmm. and, and Slade's gonna put the fix in. Yeah, of course. You know, he's got the yeah. He's, so- he's got. He's just, I don't know. It's, it's just all so sinister. There, I mean, that's, oh, yeah. that's the thing that it's like, it's like interesting. It's interesting commentary on like, you know, like industries like the pharmaceutical industry or, you know, just like, yeah. you know, what, you know, just how people, you know, companies do use animals as, as experiments and, you know, for maybe these products. Maybe not so stuff. much anymore. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. Maybe so. But I feel like. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like now it's probably been toned down quite quite severely like, compared to so. what it once was. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know, eventually um, the, detec- the detective had kind of ends up having like a press conference where yeah, he's you know people you know he's people are grilling him about it and uh, there's there's this like oh my god, dude, just like the pol- the police chief. I can't even remember the uh, the actress name. I looked it up, but I made a note of it. And this is not the first time, nor the last time that you you see these things. But he has the wildest eyebrows I've ever fucking yeah, seen, does. dude. Like those things were like built in. Those were not like something they put on him. Like there, his but he has <laughs> just <laughs> like he just has like just crazy Wild eyebrows. Like yeah, yeah, dude. He looks like he looks like the diabetes guy, but with like. Uh, Wilford Brimley? Yeah, he looks like <laughs> Wilford Brimley, but with like crazy <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> I think that alligator yeah. might have had diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> yeah, there's so, yeah. There's something interesting that happens at this uh, press conference, too, because um, there's a reporter there who you can tell uh, Madison's getting irritated with. And this reporter uh, brings up. Um, uh, uh, Madison's past, and, and apparently he had lost a partner in the Hotel Baldwin incident in St. Louis. Um, and Madison kind of just brushes it off and leaves, ending the press conference. But you can tell that it was uh, a sore subject, essentially. Yeah, yeah, like de- it definitely like touched a nerve for sure because he like leaves a little more, like a little, you know, huffy. I'd say. Um, yeah. But, which yeah like what i i what, what was the like i mean maybe i said maybe i'm stupid here but what was the what what incident are they referring to they it, it gets it gets talked more about later in a scene between oh, maybe i missed it yeah madison and uh and uh dr uh marissa kendall they there's a scene where they uh are laying in bed after presumably oh, uh, yes. a tryst uh, <laughs> but yes and he explains the story to her and it's kind of one of those things where right now it, it totally seems random but here very quickly we see kind of why that was brought up because from there it goes to a scene at the police station where madison is asking for a volunteer to go check out the sewer with them mm-hmm. um a couple of gentlemen say no they use like an, uh, an excuse of oh i i'm working this beat or i gotta do this and uh, 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 one dude's excuse was literally, I shined my shoes just now. I don't want to get them wet. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. But yeah, you're right. Like, that's a really good point. Like, it kind of almost immediately connects that where there's like, like all these officers seem to be kind of 
uh, not like full on standoffish, but they're like, nobody's volunteering to go fly solo with them. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Yeah. So. And, uh, you know, this detective, um, or sorry, officer Jim Kelly, uh, agrees to go with them. But before they, uh, head down there, this absolutely wild fucking scene happens. Oh my <laughs> God, dude. The, and it's so weird. It's, it's so like most, weird and random. It's easily the most random part of the movie. Uh, so like, I mean, this, this dude just walks in off the fucking street and he, I mean, he says like, it's crazy. Cause he walks in and he tells an officer, uh, like I killed a man in the sewer and like mm -hmm. the, the officer kind of like, you know, it's almost like it's trying to like schlub him off. And then shortly thereafterwards, this bloke just unbuttons his shirt and has a fucking bomb strapped to his chest. Like, yeah. And he's just like, yeah. oh, I'll kill us all. <laughs> he's he's like talking it's... about how, yeah, he, he's talking about how the radio told him to do it and all this shit. And it's super random, but uh, long so story short, crazy. it turns out that it's not a bomb. It was just a radio. Yeah, and they, he gets booked. Um, but I love what I do love is later in the movie, uh, the radio comes into play, which I did not expect. No, because the whole time I'm like, why? I'm like, why did this scene happen? And then yeah. later, it like loosely gets you're like, ah, okay. It, it's like literally that like idea of like uh you, you know in storytelling or whatever. I can't remember what the rule is, but it's like you you know don't you in, don't introduce a gun unless you're gonna use it. And, Smoking, yeah. yeah you know, true. and and it's like that, I guess that's what this is, but <laughs> like I don't know. It's just so, so funny weird. because because like the officers all spend like you know like time trying to detach the bomb and you know defuse it or whatever and and then just to find out the fucking radio <laughs> yeah but anyway you know then the you know the detective he uh he ends up he ends up roping in like he said uh jim kelly officer jim kelly and not they, not the court not not the buffalo bills quarterback either <laughs> this is a different jim kelly <laughs> <laughs> sorry i had to uh that would be i wish we had get there's cameos littered throughout that would be no but um the, uh, yeah, anyway yeah, so they yeah. they hit they hit the sewer you know looking for whatever the fuck has been tearing people and things up down there yeah because they don't know yet you know what they, I mean? yeah it's still a mystery and that that's what's also kind of gutsy about these two going down there is like they don't know what they're gonna find and they just, the it's last, just like, yeah, yeah that's the last place i'd be like hmm i'm gonna go check out the sewers yeah like like i'll go down that. there very lightly armed with like a flashlight and we'll go investigate these what a rookie been... cop yeah, yeah dude like <laughs> fuck that no dude <laughs> but that's the thing. Yeah, they, I mean, they couldn't get anybody else <laughs> right yeah and there's even like a uh as they're walking like there's this little short like conversation between the two where it's kind of uh, like you talked earlier in that scene where he's trying to get other cops. It's very, it's made kind of clear that other police are weary about Madison and that he has a reputation. Um, yeah. But Jim Kelly met, talks about how he doesn't care and yada yada. So the other scene where you know, like we mentioned, they they they're looking around the sewer. Um, they end up getting separated at one point, and Madison comes across the part where Gutchell was killed finds his um, lantern and in this great scene where kind of like the scene for with Cutchell, like you see something approaching Madison from behind and yeah. you think it's going to be the gator, but no, Jim Kelly comes up, slaps him on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest Surprise! Time. Yeah. <laughs> like, and what a time for a good game, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, and you like, grips it like oh, yeah. it's not like a slap it's like a grip like, it ain't, yeah it ain't a pat it's a full fucking palm slap like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is so it's funny so, it's great it's great but um, he's trying to cut he's just trying to cut the detective's ass he's like that's all it's great but yeah so then but then, then what, like they you know like isn't isn't this like where then they run they do end up running into the gator yeah because like, they, they they decide to head out um 
and they kind of get lost they're trying to find their way out and then just out of fucking nowhere you know dude I mean? that gator like starts fucking chasing them basically in the chase like and it like chases them i mean they're like they, like if i'm if i'm remembering correctly they like climb up into like a manhole area you know yeah or well yeah I think first, I think doesn't doesn't uh, David get wha- almost whacked by the tail or something like that? Yeah, and then like yep. they're like running from it, and yeah, they start climbing up like towards the manhole, and then the gator just like gets a grip on fucking Officer Kelly, and oh man, like dr- ends up like dragging him like off into the fucking darkness yeah. of the sewer, and holy yeah. shit, man, like yeah, that he, would be he's... terrifying, dude. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. That would be so traumatizing. Like, it, 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 it's one thing. It would be one thing to, like, be in the line of duty and have, like, a someone shoot at you, but to watch your burgers get fucking brutalized by an alligator in the sewer. <laughs> I'd be quitting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm retiring. I'm, a, I'm done. I'm hanging up the shield. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, for real. We, yeah, they, they, they get to the manhole cover, but Madison goes up first and can't get it open. Yeah, While he's, he's like, struggling with it. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. It's it's a it's so, a wild scene, dude. Because like you know, like the the way Kelly gets dragged away, it's like he gets dragged down and then like dragged out of sight, and then so it's just absolutely. kind of like disturbing. Uh, but then but then it picks where, picks. Sorry, what? That, that's what I'm saying. Where it was like that scene earlier, where at the press conference where the reporter brings up the missing officer, you're like, what's that have to? Or the, him losing his former partner, it's like, what's that have to do with anything? And then it very quickly follows up with, like, this similar situation. Yeah. Um, but like you said, we, we're now at a hospital, and, you know, Madison seems to wake up uh, out of nowhere screaming Kelly's name. Yeah, that was, like, um, what was, that was kind of what was strange about this scene was, like, I don't know. He didn't seem to get damaged. He didn't seem to, like, pass out or anything. But you just kind of cut to him, like presumably having passed out at some point or me or whatever waking up in a hospital room like completely discombobulated yelling about kelly yeah, and just like oh what the fuck yeah, the happened nurse... between the sewer and this <laughs> yeah because all you really hear is that the nurse mentioned something about how he was found running through the streets uh babbling about an alligator <laughs> so but uh you know not so not only you know he he he, he starts to get dressed the chief shows up and basically tells him, you know, you need to get some rest. But not only that, but Kemp, the uh, report, the dickhead reporter from earlier, yeah. um, happens to be there too, and is basically asks him about losing another partner. You know what I mean? Yeah. Asks him what happens in the sewer. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole about it, man. He's just sort of walks in and he just, you know, like here I hear you lost another partner, and it's like fuck off, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you fucking. <laughs> bitch ass like reporter get the fuck out of here like, like yeah. for real though like i mean yeah the, the restraint would be needed to not just like deck that motherfucker for you know oh, for yeah. coming up uh, at you like with that kind of shit but yeah they even like mention in this scene you know also that like you know david needs to see the psychiatrist and shit like that oh yeah that's right you know um but but then they quickly transition to uh that scene it's like the scene where i think oh my god what's her name the the yeah Mar- the marissa doctor. kendall the her yes yeah marissa kendall and she's like she's, she's like a- you know draining a snake's venom which is badass for the first you know for the for the first time you're seeing her, she's like, ah, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, uh, but yeah, yeah they're, 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 they're just picking her brain about, you know, what could possibly be doing this, you know? Yeah, because we 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 learned that uh, she's like the foremost authority on uh, alligators, crocodiles, stuff like that, snakes. Which is um, really great. It's really lucky that you have quick access to the form of Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she she's kind of quick to dismiss uh you know, she she talks about how there's no way an alligator could survive in the sewer. Um it couldn't grow larger than 15 feet. She mentions that one half that size would starve in a week. And obviously Madison knows what he saw and swears by it and ends up borrowing a book from her. 
Um, And then as he he walks away first, the chief asks her if it could be a different animal. And she basically says no. So you're kind of like, okay. You know, you you have a feeling that she's going to come into play later. You know what I mean? Mm. But for right now, that was really the the length of that. Uh, Yeah. I like that uh, the the exchange that the chief and uh, David seem to have like on their drive, presumably their drive back from that whole scene. Mm-hmm. Um, Cause at one point the, the, the phrase we've got to flush him out is, is used in terms of like, <laughs> <laughs> like whatever they're dealing with. And, uh, I was just like, they're really like, they're nailing the dialogue in this movie, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he also he also in the, the the chief also uh um shows Madison an article on the Kelly situation. Oh yeah, uh, it's kind of fucked up, honestly. And it, it even goes further than that where it, where Madison walks into the police station and there's a group of officers that are reading the article and he kind of walks in and has a line about like gentlemen, you know, wait till I'm not around or something like that. And even yeah. further, he goes oh to open God, his locker dude. and some asshole put like a little like <laughs> toy rubber alligator in there. Like, what? For real though. And then like what's crazy is like there's this there's a shot right after he opens his locker and sees the alligator. He turns around and that room full of fucking cops just just like like silently staring at him. Like like there's just no shame in this group of officers about like how they feel about this fucking dude. <laughs> like Yeah, it's pretty yeah, it's 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 just further established that uh he's kind of on his own. There. Yeah, he's a he's a bit of a, a lone ranger, you know. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, have, we, a, we have but but that fucking <laughs> officer or no not that officer, the uh, the reporter he kind of yeah. tries to follow up with a nurse and he's like yeah. an alligator sewers and then that oh, motherfucker shit. decides yeah. to go down to the fucking sewer of course he does not going to be my first does. choice but what a you no. know this dude maybe he does have journalistic integrity after all i don't know i, but. I guess <laughs> but yeah he he goes down and he takes some pictures. He ends up finding a corpse of a dead dog, actually, and like some um, like random boots or something like that too. You know? Yeah, he's like very fascinated with this pair of boots. He takes a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a great shot for the yeah, newspaper. This will be the front page of the newspaper. These boots. <laughs> oh, oh, which quick quickly. I don't think I don't know if it's the paper that he this cat writes for, but there is a shot like earlier in the movie where they show a few different like headlines from newspapers. Oh yeah. And one of them is a newspaper called the Daily Bugle. And oh, so, I didn't refer, I didn't catch that. I thought that was a I, I, whether it's an intended Spider-Man reference or not. I was like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> That'd be maybe it's part of the extended uh, universe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it turns out this is one of those Sony Spider-Man movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 gonna be the lizard the, yeah. the precursor to the new lizard movie they're working on. <laughs> I hope. Oh, I fucking God. hope. Not. Anyway. It's Morbin time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, dude! I, you know, not to get, not to dwell too hard on on the Spider-Man movies, but I just, I really just don't know what the fuck that company team seems to be doing. Have you heard about the what, Craven? Movie? Yeah, the Craven movie that they're making. They're making a Craven the Hunter movie. I mean, I will say this: I'm more intrigued by that. Uh, then, then, then a lot of, like, I think he's one of the great villains from Spider-Man's Rogue's Gallery. He's also one of the one. There's like a great six issue. Oh, run. dude. Um, so. Yeah. No, I, I, just, I mean, I agree with you there. I, but have you heard about the twist in the character? But. Oh, God, here we go. What? The twist in the character is that the that Craven the Hunter is like this. The Craven the Hunter is an is like a fierce animal lover and defender who like like what you know like like will like fight like fucking poachers and shit you know like and it's like no dude this uh, dude this dude is like an asshole machismo guy who goes to the jungle and fights like the most dangerous animals because he wants to prove his worth like 
Uh, Completely yeah, opposite okay. character traits there, pal. Why do they I, do that? I have no idea. But in, anyway, you know, we'll just we'll that's just have to wait. It's so because strange. that's the whole that's the whole point of him hunting Spider Man is that Ex- this is this yeah. big game that like, what the fuck? Exactly, dude. Exactly. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got a, that's a gnarly leg cramp right now, listeners. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's super. It's super frustrating. I was like, why the fuck are they just gonna go? And do that. Why not just like yeah, what are they doing? Tell like a yeah, anyway. So Yeah, I did not know that. So thank you for uh ruining that for me. No problem. <laughs> um but where anyway, are the, where are we at with alligator though? We uh Kemp Kemp yeah. Kemp Kemp is investigating uh and while he's doing so Oh, he um, gets pwned. It's um, all it's it's awesome too. It's the first like <laughs> pretty solid death of the movie and they get better and better yeah they definitely for do. sure yeah he, he has it's like mauled, it's like man because because gutchels it kind of shows a little bit but this one's awesome especially while while he's getting fucking mauled he's taking pictures great scene of these pictures getting taken of him getting attacked by the alligator yeah it's it, it is really cool like like the like the first like you you know you hear like the alligator uh like hiss or whatever like right behind him and then like you just catch this like flash and all you see is like the alligator's jaws like open as it's obviously like right Mm -hmm. fucking there you know it yeah it's a it's a pretty cool sequence honestly oh absolutely and and And, you know uh, like this was you know one of those you know you see a lot more of it later on but you know, I just gotta be honest. I love the the creature work that they did with the gator, and I will definitely talk about it more because it gets you get so much more of it. But you know, this oh, just yeah. starts that starts but that can, off. And it's one of those things where you can tell parts of it are a real alligator, mm-hmm. and parts of it are like an animatronic, uh, much obviously bigger uh, alligator. And what's interesting is. Uh, uh, Kane Hodder, he's, he's uncredited in, in, in this movie, but he's he apparently plays the role of Ramon the alligator. So I'm like, did he maybe was there like a suit that he was in? Super that, weird. I saw that. Uh, like I was like, yeah, I was just like, what was he like? Yeah, was he in some sort of suit like crawling around or something? Like it's just so you know random what? that he's attached to it. You know, he's also in the sequel. He plays in the sequel. He plays. He's part of this group of guys that come in to hunt uh the alligator in the sequel which is cool oh but yeah shit. i was like that what pretty, that's pretty dope yeah and uh so basically off the cuff of uh the reporter getting fucking mauled the detectives somehow yeah. end up finding the the camera mm-hmm. and they get the pictures mm-hmm. off of there and you yes. see you know the like the dude's last moments basically like you know uh and and that's where you know kind of really starts steamrolling into the into the broader public where it's like there's you know something down there there's a you know there's an alligator in the sewers mauling people which i'm really happy about because the first time i watched this movie i thought it was going to be one of those movies where for the longest time no one believes uh this character that there's this alligator in the streets and they did guard him and yada 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 but it really subverts your expectations by just putting that out in the open there which i really enjoy. yeah well and what's cool is because it's you know like you mentioned earlier it's an ur- like this is an urban legend kind of kind of you know thing where uh you know it like, like yeah i don't know i just think it's really cool that they like you said they kind of gave you the the element of like what the public's reaction would be to something like this you know what i mean like like what would happen if the public was you know terrified of something in the fucking sewer but what's crazy is the amount of response that the city seems to like organize to get this gator like because there's a sequence shortly thereafter where it's kind of cool you go through like a few different like cam uh you know like news reports talking about it and then you start seeing this setup being taken taken on um where it's like the SWAT teams rolling up to manholes and pulling the covers off, and like <laughs> you know, like uh, they're building this like gigantic 
fucking dragnet. Yeah, and like you know, they're blocking off sections of the of you know, you know, the sewer for you know to try and I don't know, like it's just it's just wild. And and there's actually even at one point a shot of a fucking police officer with an RPG, like <laughs> like bazooka, like gearing up, and like some other dude with like two missiles right next to him, like ready to go. Like what? What are you gonna shoot that fucking thing down the sewer? Like hoping to get the gator? Like what is that? Yeah, because bas- basically their plan is they're gonna s- they're gonna send all these different teams in from every entry point. Uh, make a tr- try to make noise to draw the alligator out out into this like en- uh, exit of the sewer where, as you mentioned, a bunch of police, including the chief and Madison, are waiting. Like you mentioned, there's yeah. a guy the bazooka. The chief and his eyebrows to- are there for sure. <laughs> yeah, they're ho- they're hoping to um, draw him out. And while this is happening, Dr. Kendall shows up. You know, she apologizes to Madison. Uh, you know, and you see he's kind of standoffish at first. Uh, and, you know, maybe rightfully so. Have they made um, a bald but, uh, joke yet about him? I can't no, remember he made, this far. He, he, made, he, he actually, in a little bit, uh, in that scene I referenced where they, after they got done. Uh, oh, yeah, that's sex, right. That's right. That's right. He, he, he mentions it. He makes it. He like makes a joke uh, about himself, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's but, right. This yeah. uh, whole operation they have uh, turns oh. out to be fruitless. Um this, you know, they're they're. You see all these guys in the sewer. And they have like uh, pots and pans, yeah, garbage like lids, just banging, making a racket. Like, yeah, they're really, yeah. It's it's. I don't know. It's it's kind of it, it's kind of cool because it's mixed with you know every now and then you get a shot of like you can't really tell like full on gator, but you know it's the gator, kind of like moving around yeah. in the shadows and stuff. Yeah. You're like this motherfucking like, thing's kinda, smart, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like it knows what they're doing and do- and doesn't play their game. Yeah, you know what I mean. It ain't fucking around. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and, yeah, so they they they're hoping to draw the gator out, but it doesn't work. And so David and the chief take off. The chief's like, you know, we let's get out of here. We got to figure out what we're gonna say to the press. Yeah. Um, then we follow up with a really cool scene where it shows them they're like driving through the street and they pass by this group of kids that are uh, playing a game of baseball in the street. And this is probably the only like kind of cheesy scene, but they're they're on the street and they're playing baseball in the middle of the street. And while they're playing them, all of a sudden this like you see like the ground start to shake and boom, oh, and the shit. fucking alligator just like blasts its way out of the. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy yeah oh my god dude yeah it just dude, just it, it like okay i'm gonna make another reference and i hope you know what, what i'm talking about it, it was kind of like when wcw tried to uh, build this character up called the shock master oh, where no. he blasts through this wall and he ends up tripping and falling but yeah the alligator just goes <laughs> busting out <laughs> <laughs> the alligator's the true shock master here, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. Dude, yeah. yeah. It it's fucking wild. Out. It's amazing. And even better, even better is you see this cop car coming and he's like, oh, he sees like a kid in the street and just like veers into another car and of course the fucking explosion <laughs> yeah, dude, I was gonna say. <laughs> just of course kaboom <laughs> oh, but even better like he just sees the going. alligator he he sees the alligator but decides it's a good idea i'm gonna climb out uh the uh driver's side window of my car oh my oh, god, my god. no just gets and, his leg and, ripped off yeah dude he gets his fucking leg just torn the hell off like it's, it's, it's awesome it is such a fucking awesome sequence because like you just described it's like it's like bap 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 it just keeps like going you get like the ridiculous alligator shot you get the fucking car explosion and then you get the gruesome <laughs> leg mauling and you're just like what the fuck just happened but it was great it's like during yeah. all you know like 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 when like you know, those kids playing baseball and stuff like they just scatter man like they're just like yeah. that gator shows up and they're just like fuck this <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's awesome yeah it's such a cool fucking sequence man and, and that like you know that's another one of those shots i was talking about earlier where it's like 
you get this really cool shot of this fucking big ass looking gator dude like and and then and then on top of it you you get the kind of like these shots of it like walking through the street of ramon walking through the street and i couldn't tell if it was like an actual gator on a set that they were like Mm -hmm. having maybe just walk down this street side or whatever this you know set design or if it was like some you know i think it was trying to sets yeah, which was which is so fucking cool, man. Yeah, I think uh, that's what some of it was. Which, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. practical effects, man. But, but one yeah, of those quick- one of those kids ends up running into his apartment, right? And oh yeah, this is like this is like such a funny fucking shit like moment because because this kid he's wearing a, like a Dr Pepper shirt it says I'm a pepper on it. Uh, he like runs up to his mom and he's like trying to shout to her about like the, what's going on outside. She's on the phone, be you know basically like shut the fuck up, kid. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. And the kid just runs into the kitchen and like grabs yeah. a fucking like kitchen like chef knife and is like you know like runs right back out the door like what are you gonna do little kid man like are you gonna go take that fucking sucker on i'm so confused right now <laughs> yeah it's, it's i just love the mom because she's like drinking a beer talking to her friend yeah. and she's like oh the kids the kids are outside playing alligator <laughs> yeah 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 that's right that's right playing alligator whatever the fuck that <laughs> is <laughs> yeah but it's yeah really just, a, a normal game you end up like kind of again you're sort of seeing uh the gator you know a- aka ramon sort of crawling around through the city now and it, you know it gets to like a park area um a body of water yeah yeah and they're describing like that basically like it you know it could be uh looking for a body of water a li- uh, you know and there's a, there happens to be a lake or something nearby right yeah, like because that's what because we we see that madison uh, the chief and 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 uh, Marissa Kendall are on the scene, and she's the one that's like, uh, it's exerted a lot of energy. It's probably heading for a body of water, yeah. and that's when we follow up kind of the next day. And she has like uh, made a print out of uh, its foot, and this is when she is like, oh yeah, fin- dude. finally realizing like how big this fucking thing is, and she estimates that it's thirty to forty feet long. Yeah. It's fucking like wild, dude. Like, could you imagine that? Like a forty foot long gator, uh, and like the print, the no. print that they that that they you know show her capturing is like it's so fucking wide. Yeah, you're just like this is a goddamn dinosaur, man. <laughs> and then, and then oh we get introduced wow. <laughs> to <laughs> what a wonderful fucking character. Yeah, uh, the uh, the chief has brought in uh, Colonel Brock, who has mm-hmm. apparently mm-hmm. he's the craven hunter of this movie because he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's apparently hunted big game animals all over the world and is here to take charge on the matter. Oh my god, dude, it's um, so great! And there's also there's also this like scene where there uh, there's like uh, police in boats trying to put charges in the water to draw them out, but while that's going on. It seems like the city there's certain members of the city who are, are all gathered around this park and they're trying to sell uh like alligator member really like one has plushies oh one has like yeah <laughs> well that, <laughs> that was off the fervor exactly like that was one of the things i wrote down too was was that like i thought it was really funny like random commentary on like how quickly totally. people try to turn tragedies into fucking money making schemes you know uh, it happens yeah. all, the, all time. the time today i mean like it's like right now it's it's you know th- this this is like a funny situation in this movie alligator but like in real life it's literally like like a school will get shot up in in america and then like politicians will be like i need your donation so i can run for office and like defeat this you know this uh, either wave of crime or or wave of people trying to keep guns out of schools or something you know and it's like or a like shit like that dude. yeah their shirts will pop up every yeah yeah all of a sudden Absolutely. yeah all of a sudden there's like you know i mean that that's, that's why you can find point. big biggie and tupac shirts at ross like you know it's fucking ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> like, like, uh, people are people are always going to try to uh capitalize off of a tragedy which is is pretty fucked up yeah but, oh uh, god dang it i wish guy- i tried to save the clip from from our from our uh our hunter the the, the, the what's his name again the oh uh, uh colonel Br- colonel brock 
Yes, Colonel Brock. So Colonel Brock does this is probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie. He does this interview with this like news news oh, lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he's like he's like making he's he like he's describing like the distress calls of the alligator. And then at one point he just starts talking about how it could be looking for like a mate basically. And he's like, Oh, alligators can be very loving or whatever he's talking about. And then he's yeah, like, yeah. he's, he's just, he's like looking the camera lady, like dead in the eyes. And he's just making these weird sounds like, ah, you know, <laughs> he's, just the, making, the call, yeah. <laughs> he's just making <laughs> these like mating call noise. And it's just such a fucking re- like funny, funny ass scene because like, I don't know how either of them kept a straight face while filming that, you know? Oh yeah. It's, it's, great it yeah. is hilarious there's also i mentioned how there's these people trying to sell all these alligator related items there's also a guy that tries to sell uh detective madison a baby alligator and he and <laughs> yeah. he's, there's a hilarious there's this hilarious line where he's like um uh, looks into another company it's like book them and uh and the guy's like this is a this is an attack on the free enterprise system <laughs> 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 dude it's just yeah it's so great man but uh yeah so it's like it, you know it's like a little bit after after that scene you know you kind of he, he ends up going back to the lab real and, quick you see, oh yeah real quick you, you see this shot where there's like helicopters in the sky and they're trying to find the alligator and we see that this alligator is just like chilling in someone's uh, pool, which comes into play here in a little bit. And it's amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Like, like you said, um, Madison and Kendall go back to Slade pharmaceuticals. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Okay. Can you hear that? What? Oh, I was, I, I was like playing the, I was playing the movie clip. Uh, of about the alligator being a very romantic oh, creature. You sorry. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, so, so yeah, yeah, you're right. Like they show kind of like the gator, like chin chilling. You know, in like uh, a, in Mad- the pool. a pool. Yeah, and we'll, we'll we'll follow up with that shortly. But uh, M- Madison and Kendall go to Slate Pharmaceuticals to talk to Arthur again. Um, they ask about the drug he's testing, and they learn that it gave the test subjects an insatiable appetite. Um, and then we see after this, Arthur is talking with Slade again. Slade calls the mayor afterwards. And following up from there, the chief tells uh, Madison that he pushed too far and to turn in his badge because he's off the force. Yeah, dude. How fucking wild is that? Yeah. That, like, it's just like all of a sudden, like, boom, bap. You're now like, you're not even like off of the case. You're fucking fired like get give me yeah. give, like, turn it and get out yeah, yeah but before he, he before he gets out he heads into madison heads into the uh, evidence locker oh. and uh grabs that alarm clock from earlier <laughs> but also uh, a couple sticks of dynamite you're like hmm wonder what he's planning then, <laughs> yeah he 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 follows up that uh shows him and kendall talking and he tells her about uh being canned and that he explains he's going to find the gator and kick its ass. Um, and then they, <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Yeah, like, that's, that's, it's like a classic, like machismo detective kind of meant like line, like, yeah, going to find that gator and kick its ass. <laughs> yeah. And they, they end up heading, uh, in the sewers together with this, with the sewer worker that we briefly saw earlier. Oh, um, yeah. They're looking for evidence of alligator nesting, and there's also, there's actually this pretty cool scene where uh, Dr. Kendall like finds this like it must have been it was like high up on the sewer wall. It must have been like a, a, a pipe that flows in or something. But she sees like a dog collar and she pulls on it, and this like desiccated dog corpse pops yeah. out. Yeah, it's kind of um, gnarly. A hundred percent. That would that would be really really gross to yeah. come across. And she explains that she thinks that uh, the alligator left it here for later, that it's going to eventually head back. Um, and then we see that uh, Slade and the mayor are at Slade's like crazy ass nice mansion and they're setting up for a wedding. And this is where we learn Arthur's name. And we learn that uh, um, Arthur is his future son-in-law. Yeah, uh, it's real right. quick. It's real quick, real quick. 
uh, scene, but we kind of learned that Slade and the mayor are in cahoots and that Slade is kind of ex- explaining that, you know, uh, ex- ex- it kind of explains more what the situation with the mayor and how Slade has all these great things cooking up right now. But if word of, of, of this was to get back to them, that not only would it affect them, but it would also affect the, the mayor's candidate race for some reason <laughs> yeah like it's like a, and then, and so that's what i mean where it's just like classic sort of like you know like deep pocket this guy's got such deep pockets that he owns the fucking politician another interesting commentary yeah. you see that all the time um but yeah it's like yeah I don't know, dude. The, the dude that plays Slade is like such a fucking funny dude. Again, he's got some. Like, he is. He he also has some furious eyebrows, if you ask me. But he really does though. But yeah, he's like, <laughs> I don't know, just this fucking, just this chuckle fuck, yeah. really. But then you kind of follow up. Uh, this is what a scene we were sort of alluding to earlier. Um, well, hang on. What's that? Wait, wait. Oh yeah, what were you gonna say? Sorry. Uh, cause, cause after, after the incidents in the sewer, basically David and Madison end up going, uh, back to David's place. Yeah. Marissa like, and, and him. Yeah. Marissa. Sorry. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like sort of strange because like he, David, like they show up at his place. He goes to like, feed, he starts feeding his dog and then like, uh, she like calls her mom or something like that to let him, yeah, let she- her know that she's not going <laughs> to be coming home that night or yeah. something. <laughs> I for, I forget what her mom says she cooked for dinner, but she's like, you're missing a good dinner. I made lasagna oh, yeah. or whatever. I forget what that's, she said. But no, that's she, right. She's like guilting her about missing the meal that she made. Her. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's such a cool, like it's like a, yeah, that's so good. But, oh my yeah. God, yeah. But uh, before we see where they, uh, where their night takes at, them. Yeah. We, we cut back and this is what I'm talking about. Where a little bit ago, it showed the alligator chilling in the pool. And dude, oh God, dude, this, this is amazing because I, any movie, any horror, there's horror movies, you know, where it'll be like reference that a kid got killed or whatever. But any movie that has the fucking balls to show you a child getting yeah. viciously brutalized, it's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking gnarly, dude. So like... You know, you, you're you're obviously you're at the house that they showed you where the the pool was and everything earlier, and there's like a I don't know like a like a birthday going on or something, and like yeah. all these kids are dressed up, and like two of the kids uh, walk one of them out to the plank because they're dressed up as pirates, and the mm-hmm. and they're like gonna make them walk the plank into the pool, and it's just this really cool fucking shot of like the kid you know the youngest kid who's getting you know put on the plank he like he kind of uh pulls up his blindfold at the last moment and sees the gator kind of like start coming out of the water and the water's just lit perfectly enough to yeah. sort you know to to, sh- to show it and then the kids just fucking push him in that's where i thought i thought they were like that they were gonna like drop it there i thought there was gonna be like you know like the kid sees the gator and they all run off but you're mm-hmm. right, dude. Like, no, like the, like that kid gets pushed in the water. And then there's that shot of the gators of him, like just fitting it right into the gators jaws. And then like all of a sudden yes. to put blood in the water, that kid's fucking dead. The other ones are like running in like, mommy, something happened to Parker. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, like, I did not see that coming. No, it was, it was fucking intense, dude. It was, it was great. It yeah. Was good great, on like him. But Any then it that has the balls. Yeah. Then it transitions then, yeah. into this, like, you know, again, you're kind of, you're, 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 this is all kind of intermixed with, you know, the, 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 the things going on between David and, and Marissa. Yeah. And so she just got out of the shower. Yeah. We see. But where, and, where does it go from there? Oh my God. One, again, one of my favorite <laughs> fucking <laughs> moments, man. This <laughs> movie is just <laughs> over the top. You pick it back up with, with our, with, you know, Hunter Brock and he, like it's kind of it's slightly a little racist oh it's definitely you know? racist it's definitely <laughs> racist like the, there's the there's like he like it, he like <laughs> buys beer for like a, a bunch of like what look like underage african-american you like like blokes who uh he convinces to show them around but he keeps referring to them as the local tribe yeah and, you guys yeah 
<laughs> and, then yeah, goes, like, and then he goes like one of them has like a you know kind of speaks for the rest of them a little bit and he goes ah yes the local chieftain and like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he talks about he, how you know he always needs a native guides to show him around oh my god dude. i just felt and it was kind of it was kind of racist it's it's so on the fence yeah where because it's just sort of like this dude's so, like yeah, we see yeah and so anyway he, they like they follow he, you know he, yeah yeah, he, he agrees to pay. He agrees to pay them um, ten dollars like, a day to show them around the city. Yeah. Um, but before we get the payoff for that, we go back to Madison and Kendall, who are laying in bed. You get like a half. I'm really glad there wasn't like nudity, but you get like a half tit shot. Yeah. Uh, but they're laying in bed, and this is where he tells the story about um, the incident with his former partner in St. Louis, where apparently they were at a hotel. Um, Madison was approached by somebody who he thought had a gun to him, but it was actually a roll of quarters. They took his gun and they used his gun to kill his partner. Um, yeah, it's actually a pretty fucked up story. <laughs> oh, absolutely. He has a great line, too. He has, a, he has a really great line where he says, there's a heavy penalty in this life for fear, which I thought was a pretty cool line. That is a really cool line. And yeah, I mean, I mean, could you imagine that? They're like, uh, well, you know, the, just the weight of that, like, on on you as a person you know mm -hmm. the rest of your fucking life but yeah and then he uh, has that yeah what then it? he has what were you gonna say no oh, go for it <laughs> tell what well, because then he drops <laughs> <laughs> she like she's like looking at his hair or something because you can very clearly say see that like he's starting to go bald in the front and he has this line where he's like yeah you know i'm, I'm kind of fighting male male pattern ball this year and i'm a little sensitive about it <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just so random he's like in the middle of yeah. everything going on in this movie and they're making jokes about male pattern baldness, pattern baldness. yeah <laughs> i love it um but, but then then you end up uh you end up picking back up with the our, uh, you know the big our big game hunter and his his local guides and <laughs> There's this like scene where they take him to like a place called Booger Alley. And, <laughs> and, and like the like it's so funny because he like you know like he Brock pulls out like this pint of you know whiskey or whatever and like takes a huge pull from it, gearing up to go down Booger Alley because he think you know the gator was probably down there. And um he's like trying to convince these dudes that he's paying 10 bucks a day to like go down there with him. He's like, you know, like it's, uh, you know, it's kind of custom for like, you know, the, the, the guides to back up the hunter, you know, in these situations. Mm -hmm. And they're just like, not in, like literally the light is, well, not in this mi jungle, mister. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them does. Yeah. One of them yeah. ends up one following them, up with the, yeah, he reluctantly follows him. Yeah. And we see that the uh, we we before proxies we see that the alligator's hiding in a pile of trash. Yeah. Um, we also get this great shot where Brock's walking down the alley, and you see in like a different part of the alley, you see a sh the shadow of the alligator is seen off the wall. So he goes to investigate. I just thought it was so funny how this dude is supposedly this big time badass hunter, and like. It just, I kept scratching my head. I was like, so he's like, ha he's like half drunk. He walks directly into this, like, essentially the den that he thinks, like, this creature is living in. And he just walks, like, straight up to the garbage pile. Like, he doesn't think anything's going to fucking happen to him. But, oof. Oh, no. Oh, and it, and his desk it might be one of the best. Because it's so good. Because you want it, yeah, you want it to happen on top of everything. But oh yeah, to absolutely. see him in the jaws of that giant gator, he, he dude, it yeah, just fucking like like the gator's like moving him, like swinging him around a bit, and then yeah, and yeah, that's I, right, that's right. And then he just fucking chomps him like blah, you're, and then he's gone. He's just he's a he's eight. And it's just, it's fucking, it's, it's so cool. And, and then yeah. one of the, uh, the local, the, like the local kids, like kids are, uh, he hired or whatever, like is, you know, runs up and like grabs the rifle and tries to like shoot the thing and then like runs away also. But 
to no avail. Yeah. So this thing's taken some bullets by, uh, at this point in time, by the way. But, see, but seems to be unfazed by it. <laughs> yeah. yeah this, no, it's just like bouncing off this gator's skin, it seems like. Yeah. Let me see. We follow up. So Madison and Kendall are finally eating dinner. Um, while they're eating, these two other cops come in and tell them about Brock's death. And then... Matt, like in this weird scene, like they okay, so they just got done like having sex and they're at dinner together. And Madison tries to like get kind of up close to him mm-hmm. and it like pisses him off. I forget what the line is, but it's something like, Oh, she's like, uh, oh, fuck, what was the line? And he, he says something like, Well, don't be uh, too quick to know me or something like that. And it's like super rude to her and basically like shuns her and she leaves and it's like what a dick yeah it's such a it's such a bizarre sequence because you're just like uh, yeah the, I, I yeah he's just like such an asshole to her all of a sudden that yeah but i get but but i guess i get it like he's he's gone through a lot he his partner yeah. died he got kicked off the force you know this brock guy's dead and it even goes to show like the next scene he has this like intense uh nightmare sequence of in black and white now of kelly getting he has this nightmare of like a recreation of the Kel, the detective kelly or the, sorry officer kelly scene um mm-hmm. in slow motion getting killed and what's cool what's what, what i thought was cool is that when he wakes up from the nightmare on the tv is like a 1950s like creature movie of like a kimono dragon or something like that oh yeah that's <laughs> right uh, dude shout outs there uh it's yeah it's 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 pretty cool but then he ends up like kind of going back to marissa yeah he goes and yeah he goes to her mom's house and her mom is an eccentric like, character we'll say dude that was literally the word i was just gonna use. <laughs> <laughs> that's one that's one way to put it yeah because she's like all over the place like at one point she like digs like a rosary, a set of rosary beads out of like some kitchen container, and then it's just like babbling on about that. Like then she's like making jokes about like, can you tell which one's my evil eye? And she like makes like a face oh, at yeah. David or whatever. <laughs> like yeah, she's like, is it this one or is yeah. it this one? Yeah, she's exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. It's so bizarre. And then uh, yeah, I, they he, basically yeah. basically those two end up uh, well. Uh, uh, David and, and Marissa end up going upstairs to talk further, and it's just such a strange yeah. sequence of events. You know, like they, he, like you know, he's the, he's back into her basically, and they decide to go yeah. look for the croc or look for the gator together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while they're while they're heading to to look for the gator, they make a joke about her mom talking it to death. <laughs> um, but their their plan is they they want to they're going to try to head into a canal to flush it out. But while this is happening, we see that on some like random body of water somewhere, presumably uh, near the sewer, that there's two different police boats that oh, um, yes. are attempting to kill it because they they come across it. <laughs> oh my god! What another absolutely ridiculous scene. However, it's not as ridiculous as uh, one of the like penultimate scenes of the movie. But yeah, so there's these two boats. See the gator. And somehow they they lose sight of where it is because one of the boats like skims off the alligator. All of the guys come f- careening out of the boat into the water. The boat somehow manages to skip and fly on the shore and explode. Oh my god, dude! It's <laughs> it's so over the top. Like, <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. It's just like <laughs> like. In what reality do they think that this is like where that's actually going to happen? Like, it's so big. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it like, they might as well have just hit a fucking jump. And oh, no and that's right. That's right. Like, the explosion, the explosion in the boat ends up happening because one of them, one of the officers grabs a grenade and like oh, pulls yeah. the pin. And when they're flying <laughs> out of the boat, he, he drops it into like the box of grenades that they have on the boat. I and forgot. It, yeah. It's so <laughs> fucking ridiculous. And the gator yeah. ends up like chomping down on at least one of those dudes, like while he's in the yeah, water. Get, yeah. They're like trying to pull him out of the. Oh my God. You explain. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so great. Like there's like, because it's almost like, it's almost Jaws esque where they have this like, like rip off Jaws dun, 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 dun kind of theme happening where it's like, but it's like, instead of dun, duns, it's like, bum, bum, 
ba 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 it's like these <laughs> weird like, <laughs> so it's like it's like kind of this knockoff but not really right, but right anyway so you see one of the one of the officers get dragged under and then when this like the second boat rolls up to pull like this one guy up he just starts like he you know he gets chomped down on he starts seeing like blood in the water and he's like screaming like, ah, ah, and, and they pull him up and both of his fucking legs are just gone dude like knee would, yeah. knee down like just gone <laughs> I would have, I would have rather just died to be yeah, honest. Dude. Just just fucking fin- um, let him finish it. <laughs> but uh kind of the theme of this movie is that uh some wild scenario happens and then Madison and Kendall like happen to show up a little too late. Yeah. They show up late. <laughs> they like talk to this guy and they 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 assume that the alligators headed for Slade Mansion and their assumptions are correct because <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this scene. I mean, this scene is the best. Like it's just so you can't you can't you can't predict this scene. You just can't. No. Because cuz it's like <laughs> So you know, like you said, it. He- it's like the Gators heading for Slade Mansion now, and uh, you cut to like the wedding that's going on, and there's like this fuck, you know, Slade who on the on the grill, like grilling up a bunch of steaks, like talking to whoever's listening about how he's gr- how he gr- he's grilling this meat like a fucking dude. With hickory, yeah. Hickory you know, hick- and all this shit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like you put a little hickory in there, and it seals the flavor, like you know, like shit like that. <laughs> And it, and then just just like it, it, they make it, you know, somebody makes a comment about how like uh, the the meat smells permeating everywhere, and then it cuts <laughs> to this dog barking, and the gator crawls out of the fucking like you know the the bushes and just fucking devours this dog, and then just goes on a rampage, man. Yeah, like dude. a fucking <laughs> rampage. Like how many people died in this scene because they couldn't get away from this gator? But well, all I mean, the most brutal one though. It, well, presume I, we'll one to, of them but do the the maid that gets fucking chomped down oh, on yeah it's so gnarly yeah. like like yeah. it, like the like the gator gets its jaws on this fucking like poor maid and and so you know blood starting to splatter and she's just like you know writhing in agony in the jaws of this gator as it's swallowing it fuck like her fucking hole basically <laughs> Yeah, and then we we get this absolutely batshit bonker scene oh, yeah. where the, this alligator just causes absolute mass carnage and chaos. He's, not fucking... only is he just eating a bunch of people, but he's his tail's flipping around. People are getting people are getting cannonballed through the air, through tables, <laughs> through the cake, into the pool. Oh my god, it's <laughs> so good! It's so can't do good. It justice. Yeah, you really can't because there's just like like there's just shots of like the tail, like this gigantic gator tail, like swinging through the air. And then, like you said, they don't just show like three or four people like like jumping over, like you know, flying over a table, like they just got knocked the <laughs> fuck out. Like it's just fucking like bonkers. Yeah. Like, yeah, like the guy does like a front flip into the cake. Oh my like, god, yeah, dude. <laughs> we also it's see that so Arthur. Good. Arthur is one of the people that gets killed in this carnage, but mm-hmm. then we follow up with a with a pretty awesome uh, oh. double death scene where uh, oh. Slade slips into his car, locks the door on the mayor. <laughs> the alligator approaches, grabs the mayor, and like bashes his head into the car while he's like yeah. chomped onto his midsection, killing him. But then, how does Slade die? Because this oh. scene was fucking awesome. This this it it's so good. So like. And also so unbelievable. But this gator, like, literally smashes the car that Slade is locked into. Like, like not even, not sma- even just smashes. It, like, crushes the fucking vehicle with its tail. Mm. Like, repeatedly just smashing down the roof, smashing in the windshield, smashing in the doors. And, like, like, it, like to the point where it crushes slayed in the vehicle to death like it's fucking yeah. insane and so awesome. fucking awesome like just like they, oh my god i was just yeah, laughing then, so hard through it because i was just like what the fuck is happening like this gator 
to 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 destroy a vehicle like that that gator has to be so fucking huge man like it's uh it's one of those scenes that you have to see to fucking believe it's yeah exactly wild. like we can talk about it all we want but like like unless you like go on youtube and i guarantee you somebody's like has this specific wedding scene like up there well, and hope- just watch how bonkers and fucking hilarious it is because like um, like you said earlier uh in in like the theme of the movie our two fucking heroes show up just <laughs> just right after this event to witness all the carnage the gators like fucking inflicted on this wedding yeah and, oh my god it's so fucking good and like yeah and they uh yeah they kind of um deduce that uh the gator is going they, they they kind of try to follow maybe where the gator went and they deduce that the gator is heading back uh into the storm drain back into the sewer yeah and back to its lair what, where they found all those like dog bodies and shit earlier yeah it's a, it's a fair i mean i guess it's a pretty fair assumption to make. um but this is where um uh david madison you know decides to put his plan into action. He, 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 we learned that he's going to go down into the sewer. He has a, a setup point already established with Kendall where she's going to have a manhole cover open for him. He wants to go into the sewer and do, because it, it was, we forgot to mention this, way earlier in the film, it's established that there's methane pockets in the sewer. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. going to go... <laughs> He's going to go into one of these methane pockets, plant the bomb, and hopefully blow the uh, alligator to smithereens. So that's yeah. his plan. Yeah, dude. And I mean, like, honestly, kudos to to this guy for having the the the, the fucking balls on him to like get back down in that sewer with, you know, totally a flashlight and a gun and like, you know, and you know, trying to make it happen. Um, and you know it it kind of it's you know you almost think that the plan's going to go off without without much of a hitch because yeah. you know like he gets in there he get he you know he's kind of walking around for a little bit but then the gator like notices him and starts following him which is part of the plan but absolutely you know like how unnerving is that that you just what like you, this gator just like fucking killed like 15 people at this wedding at least and now it's like yeah. it's right behind you bud like you better fucking run like and uh you know as he does he kind of he ends up you know throwing on this gas mask and like luring it into one of those methane pockets and and he's like trying to set up the the bomb and uh and he ends up getting fucking cornered basically by the gator which thwacks him with its tail like against the wall Uh and it knocks off his fucking like gas mask and so all of a sudden he's just like you know breathing in methane and the gator's right in front of him basically and he's like you know scrambling to get up this fucking manhole uh and And, then uh, what happens though like how like he gets to the top of the man even even further though like you said you, you think this plan's gonna go up with the hitch you meant you know he 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 got he gets demasked but as he's going to uh go to the manhole cover we see that um on top of the street that there's a garbage truck uh just so happens to be at the spot picking up some garbage and there's a car behind it and the car behind its wheel is directly on top of the manhole cover uh, uh, Car- uh barissa shows up with like 20 seconds to spare has <laughs> to talk this la- she ends up jumping into the lady's car <laughs> reversing over it and, and madison makes it out of the manhole cover with like three seconds to spare before the bomb goes off uh um, yeah but dude. the plan works oh yeah that i mean that that gator definitely gets blown the fuck up which is it's which awesome. is which is awesome. I just loved, I loved Marissa running up and just yelling at that lady. You gotta move your car. You gotta move your car. And then she doesn't, she just shoves her way into the fucking vehicle and does it for her. You know, I mean, but, yeah. But yeah, like, I mean, uh, you know, straight up, like the plan, the plan ends up working. The gator gets, gets blown the fuck up. Uh, and so does another car though, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you can't, like, the movie doesn't end until one more vehicle gets blown up too you know and like uh and and you know so he kind of falls on this you know ending of like 
Marissa and David are, you know, getting checked out by an ambulance. The police chief's like, oh, hey, man, you did a good job. Like, you know. Uh, you know yeah, because he has such a distinct voice. We forgot to mention that. Like, yeah, he has. Not such only a does he have these eyebrows, but he, you actually almost like nailed perfectly his voice. It's so It's so funny. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bizarre. And. Uh, you know, basically, like everything's everything's good again, right? And then, yeah. and, and then you you end on one of those. We talk about it all the time. One of those sort of like almost completely unnecessary in this movie, but juicy little like cliffhanger endings. Sh- <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a chef's kiss ending. <laughs> <laughs> Where like. <laughs> A second gator gets flushed down the, somebody's yeah. toilet and ends up in the fucking sewer. <laughs> You're like, holy shit. Like, yeah. no. no. <laughs> it's great. Like, it's I, so, I love it. Uh, it's it's such a fun movie, man. Like, and yes, yeah. there are some campy elements, but they like they really did a good job leaning into that. There's some really cool uh you know like uh creature effects there's there's just i mean how many legs that you see get chomped off you know like all like across the board there's just so much fun to be had with this fucking Dude, movie it, it, it is so much better than it has any right to be yeah it's crazy like i mean it yeah because you really just you, you could write this movie off all fucking day thinking it's just a, like a shitty you know alligator eats a bunch of people movie but it, it's got some real fucking like fun elements to it yeah what, what's what's a bummer is that you know it's like a while later when they make the sequel mm-hmm. um and unfortunately the sequel like follows a lot of the uh, same like uh movie beats like it, it's that, that almost is- like it's almost similar like too similar yeah, that is something I remember reading about it. I I, I want to definitely follow it up and watch yeah, it anyway. Yeah, it's, it's worth watching it, you know. But it's it's uh, pretty okay. similar. What uh, what would you overall? What would you rate 1980s Alligator? Hmm. I would give it one, or sorry, no, I would give it uh, eight and a half. Uh, over the top, almost comedic romp esque, uh, uh, a wedding uh, destruction scenes out of ten. <laughs> that scene is so it's so amazing. bonkers. It's kind of so far. like, like I said, like you, like you can watch that scene over and over again by itself and just crack fucking and crack up the entire time. It's so good. What do you uh, give it? I would give it. I mean, very similarly, I give it like something like eight. Uh, kids playing alligator out of ten. You know, <laughs> I, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna give an eight. Uh, uh, Colonel Brock mating calls out of oh, ten. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Can't>, oh, <laughs> whatever fucking noise he makes oh, at that man. later. That's so great. <laughs> yeah, but I, I can't. I can't state it enough. Like I, I really recommend. If, if you're listening to this and you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out because it's just fun. It's like an hour. It's like an hour and a half and it's just, it's fun. And, and like, who knows? I mean, we still don't even really know. You might be able to, you might be watching this and you might witness Kane Hodder crawling around in an alligator costume, not even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It could. But yeah. It's, it's, it's so, it's just so good. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know that. That being said, uh, we'll we'll leave that one there. We have for the next episode, we got uh, our second part to the '90s horror movies, uh, the horror mm-hmm. movie roundup. Um, yeah, coming up. So that that'll be really fun. So keep keep listening to check that out for next week, uh, and you know, and we'll uh, we'll fit another movie in in between. Uh, yes. the next couple of parts of that as well. So, you know, yeah. lots to turn out. We've got internet uh, back at back at you know my house again, so we'll be up and running. Uh, Absolutely, just very stoked, very stoked on it. And this movie, like, I'm still like, I mean, I watched it like a handful of days ago, and I've just been like grinning about it since then. So, Dude, yeah, it's once solid. again, I cannot express. Just go watch it. It's on Shutter. Do it. Yeah. Uh, but how, how how have we been ending the podcast lately? What's your fun, what what's the what's a word for the fan for the listeners, David? You, you probably know what I'm going to say. Uh, 
but uh you know there's i feel like there's there's so much horror out there that you're never gonna run out of shit to watch so maybe go watch something new maybe go watch your comfort horror movie you know what i mean whatever it is just you know i'm that's what i'm gonna do i'm about to take i'm about to shower and end my night watching a horror movie and going to bed so. Dude, same here. I'm about I'm about to well actually I'm gonna make Bowie some food and then yeah. and then I'm going to like find a horror movie to watch. Also, quick quick last minute shout out, uh Nope is coming out very soon. I can't definitely, wait. Definitely go check that. Like I, I yeah. will go get a single ticket to go sneak into a theater and watch it. You know, uh, oh, nobody wants to go with down. me. You know, um That's one of my most anticipated movies of the year for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I finally was able to catch up on um, Candyman. I, I had Ooh, I, okay. I hadn't had a chance to catch that yet, and um, I watched it the other night. Nice and holy shit, dude! That was so fucking good. Yeah, like, it's so fun. good. And like, so you know, it's just one of those movies that you're just like, boom. If this is like where like where people are, how people are directing horror right now excellent keep it up you know mm-hmm. yeah, all right liked it. well we'll leave it all there like the man said watch some fucking horror and as always if you're a hot dog dip yourself into some of that old heart radio cornmeal batter and turn yourself into a corn dog because we're just right yeah. here sizzling waiting for you but hope you all have a good one <laughs>